My name is Marco Bulmer. I'm a research associate professor here within um, JSET, one of the research organizations in UMBC. And like you, um, I've just experienced the earthquake that we've just had on campus. Um, for myself, um, this is part of the area that I work in. Um, I work in the area of natural hazards, disasters, and emergency planning. So earthquakes are something I'm very familiar with. Uh, clearly, for some of you, this may be the first time that you've gone through earthquakes. And what I want you to uh, just remember is that the university has thought through um, earthquakes in the same way that it's thought through other hazards and has a plan. And you may have just been part of that plan. Uh, so I think you can immediately uh, take comfort from the fact that there is a plan uh, and also that you yourself have also probably just performed admirably in it. It's just a matter of staying calm and listening once you have evacuated the building you're in to those people from UMBC who will guide you to the appropriate safe areas and corridors. And what you can see behind me is one of the designated safe areas and indeed one of the spaces between the two buildings that you want to look at quite closely anywhere where you have those sorts of overhangs are, will not have been designated as safe areas and are areas you want to avoid. Some of the things that you can do yourself to help are to remain calm, to look at those people around you who might need help, and then to walk to the areas that have been designated to you. Don't try and hurry the process. Those people who are responsible for UMBC safety will be working hard behind the scene to get more information and to pass it on to you. I'm sure, like me, you will, of course, have been concerned about your loved ones and will have tried to get in touch with them. Don't be surprised if you've not been able to receive an email or a phone call. That will happen in due course. Everybody was probably trying to do that. Those of you who have children in school, the school system will be putting together a text message or communicating with you in some form. And likewise, you yourself, I'm sure, will have talked through within your own households about some sort of emergency plan. And if you haven't, now is probably a good moment when you go home to think about that and to think about what will you do the next time, who will you contact and how long will you wait. So the message for you today is you've experienced an earthquake and you've seen that there are measures in place and that you are part of the evacuation plan and the safety plan. There are a whole number of other people that you can now go and contact should you want further information. You can look in the directory and on the UMBC website. Thank you.